Hello, XMN Legacy here, and today, if you're anything like me, you want to play Prototype on the PC, and you've ran into issues being unruly, making your game unplayable. Either it's lower FPS than 20, or the game's just crashing right away. So let's get right started in here and see what we can do to fix that. So right off the bat, we are going to switch scenes here. And we are going to start prototype. Nearly base. I have a resolution mod on at the moment. Other than that, completely standard. When we get in here, you will notice right off the bat that we are only playing this game at eight measly frames per second. This is atrocious. You can tell that everything here is loading slower than molasses. We have 8 FPS up on the top corner, at least for me, I'm using 8% utilization, 192,000 hertz. I'm using absolutely nothing, and this thing is chugging. This is because of poor optimization, this is because it has not been updated for new hardware. This thing still thinks it's 2009, and we do not have anything more than 4 cores. Most. Okay, after this, I should be able to skip, okay? I'm trying to skip as fast as I can to the next part, because I can skip the next scene. I need to get to the menu. Here's the menu. Let's see how long it takes me to actually get into the game, because of how low the FPS is. Okay, what we are going to do is we are going to hit new game. Okay, it's going to take forever. We're going to hit normal as fast as we can. We're going to click on the top save as fast as we can. And we're going to hit yes as fast as we can. And we're going to see just how far we make it and just how long this lasts. Still rocking 8 FPS. And this is taking forever. All else fails, it'll crash in 4 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1, crash. Sorry, that wasn't seconds, but you get what I mean. Okay. Right off the bat here, we are going to fix the FPS issue because that is probably the most noticeable issue of all of those issues. To do that, we're going to right click on the start button at the bottom left corner. We're going to click device manager on that menu. And then this little handy list will pop up. We are going to click on human interface devices and we are going to disable all of the HID compliant consumer controlled devices. We just right click disable and we can do that for all of them. Sorry, don't mind that. Just need to disable all of them. It may take a second. You might be able to find a batch file that will do this for you, or an INI that might be able to do this for you, but I have not gotten any of those to work, so doing it manually is what I've got. Now, you can disable these before you play the game and then re-enable them after you play the game. I do not see any lasting effect, but you might want to look into it and make sure you're enabling them when you're done. Now, we can close this, and then... To fix the crashing issue, we are going to open up the task manager by right clicking on the taskbar itself and then clicking task manager. While in here, if you have anything more than four CPUs, CPU cores, I have 12, you're going to probably run into the issue where the game is crashing. For me, I'm going to go all the way over to details. I'm going to press the S button on my keyboard, which will bring me into the S section into details. You're going to find Steam. And you're going to right click Steam and click Set Affinity. Setting Affinity will allow it to use less CPU cores. So you're going to want to click the checkbox where it says All CPU Cores and then only enable the first four. So 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now you press OK and you can close out of Task Manager. Now, when you start up the game, it should take moments to start the game. And then it should also only take moments to get to the main menu. As you can see, it's almost all the way through the Activision part. We have 70 FPS on the left side, top corner, and we are already making it to the menu. I'm in the menu, I'm hitting OK, I'm hitting Next, I'm going to the top, we're starting a new game, it's normal, I'm setting a new save, and I'm hitting Yes. 
that is how fast the game should be running. And now the game's going to start. Got to hit continue. Now we actually made it here. The game may crash right here. If you see the tentacles on the left, you should be fine. Because I've been able to make it to gameplay at least after seeing that. And now we're going to skip it. And there we are. We are in game. We are in game. That's all we needed to do. Now, I'm dying. I have controller support, it seems. And we're able to play. That is literally all we can ask for. Now, I'm hoping that this video helped you. If it didn't, leave a comment in the description or in the comments below. And maybe someone else has a solution to help out. Most I could do was look up in the guides on Steam. Maybe try doing the same. Most of them were unhelpful. I had one of them give me files to download that didn't help. I had another one give me bat files that didn't help. All of it just didn't work. So please, please keep an eye out for other issues that might come up in the game like resolution or texture issues. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you want to see next. I should be streaming this game at maybe the 10th of August because I wasn't able to play it on the 9th of August. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.